What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, competitive games, fun tabletop to video games. And today we are reviewing the Bandai's Master Grade 00 Riser. Now this Gundam is a tyrant. It comes with tons of accessories and it is really fun to actually build. And also for the price range, the market price is around $100 which is very cheap for what you are getting. Now, for a friendly reminder to definitely like and subscribe, especially that we are still doing the giveaway for the Master Grade Psycho Zaku Verkai. So definitely subscribe if you want to enter in that giveaway. So with that being said, let's get started on the review. And here he is. As you can clearly see, he comes with a lot of accessories. So first off, we're going to take a closer look of him and check his posability. And then after, we're going to go with all the accessories because there's going to be a lot to deal with. So first off, he does look really cool, and I just love this Gunpla so much, and especially the show, I was definitely a big fan of Double O. This guy just looks amazing. There's no complaints about it. For articulation, he actually has a lot, and we're showing it now because once all the stuff is on him, it does limit his articulation, but you can still do some cool poses with it. So if you look at the head, okay, so first thing here. Sorry for the paint on my hands well it's not paint it's color i'm a hairdresser and i was pulling someone's hair so that's why my hands all like this so please ignore that so first off with the head it could definitely look side to side turn the head 360 on the ball joint look all the way down look semi up not too much maybe if we no nope, that's the most it could look okay then for the shoulders definitely could turn 360. okay definitely has a very nice bicep so a lot of the joints are actually double hinge which is pretty cool and i would have to say like the arms are actually very tight but mostly because of the age so it could bend like this could go outwards like this so there is definitely a lot of possibility with this the fingers are actually separate joints of the index finger and then the other three and then you have the thumb and then there's a little small peg if you can see over here that is for a lot of his accessories and weapons. Okay. For chest, it does actually open up a little bit outwards. And for some reason, mine's not moving. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. So you could actually move it out like this if you want. Okay. The cockpit does lift, but mine's always slides out completely. So I just leave it alone. Now, if we with the arms like this, we can see that he could definitely go side to side. Not an issue. Little ab crunch over here. Okay. Skirts could all move around, especially if you have specific weapons attached to it. Legs could definitely kick front and back. Now the legs I would have to admit is I find it's a bit too long his legs. Like if we actually take a look at his legs in general for the size of it i think it's just a little bit too long but that's the actual model the beat knee bend i'm not too crazy about it. i think it's way too uh thick and long like it looks it doesn't even look that good no matter what yeah so not too crazy about the knee bends the slack moves for it okay there is definitely a lot of ankle movements that you can do 360 if you need to you can even lift these up and you could definitely throw it down up whichever you like and that's what we have for the articulation now for accessories we're going to start with this jetpack so as you can see we have this jet that also has these that you can put led lights in it so it glows up and then you can just place it back if it wants to go back into place there we go now for movement and possibility, it could definitely lift outwards and inwards. It could rotate. There's little locks over here. Now these are usually meant for when you uh, move it or equip it. When you equip it in a certain place, so the weight doesn't bring it down, you could just lock it. So right away, we could actually do that right now. We might lock it just like this. And we could just stick it in the back as you can see. There we go, just like that. You can move this back if you like, just like this. This side, there we go. So you could definitely do that if you like. 
and they're on pegs just like that so it's very easy to rotate them okay now if you look at other weapons okay the sabers so it definitely comes with two so we just light it in if mine wants to slide to be honest Oh, I don't think I have the correct ones. No, this one is actually for a, I think this is my Dynamis Gundam. All right, but it does come with two sabers exactly like this too. So my apologies for that. But for storage for these, what you can do is that you just slide in like this. And they actually do move side to side. So if you want to do a pose of him grabbing both, you could definitely do that. Or if you just want to put it down. So there we go. Okay, now for other weapons, he has these that they do actually extend a bit. And also you could attach them together to make kind of like a shield. Now the issue that I have is how they attach, you have to flip these and it barely holds. So you put it over here and it's supposed to go in but you can feel that it barely holds it in okay another thing that you can do if you like is actually that's these put these out and you can actually plug it in like this if you want it to be on the sides just like that so those are other options that you can do I will admit there are a lot of parts that I think are too loose and then there's some parts that are way too tight on it. So a lot of the armor plates that's on his uh, weapons are very loose so definitely keep that in mind. But for posing in specific places it's not that bad. Okay then if we check these so these blades are actually quite cool. So the first thing you can turn into the blasters over here and you just pull this down. And you're going to pull this down like this. And there you go. And you can just peg it in very easily into the hand. Let's get a better view. There we go. So you could do that. You could put this back, flip it around. And you take this adapter. You slide in like this. You take the other one. You slide it like this. And there we go. Then you have two side. It looks quite nice and also you have these okay for his transam mode he doesn't really transam just the blades you could just slide them like this and do the same thing on the other side if it wants to slide slide and there we go so definitely you can put it like that if you like okay Next, we have the big blade, which you could, there is an adapter that you could actually put on and attach it like this if you like, or the other side actually. But I don't usually ever display it like that. I usually have them on top, so I never really use that adapter. So definitely the first thing that you could definitely do is you could peg it into his arm, which we're going to show you. So just like this, you can slide it in. You don't even next necessarily have to actually peg it into his hand because it holds tightly just like this. So you can definitely do that, which is pretty cool. And if you decide to extend it like this, you definitely can. And then you have the transam that actually just slides like this. And then it pegs into these ports over here. So just wiggle it in and there you go. It's a little bit longer. Looks pretty cool and very nice. So no complaints over there. Uh, one thing that I do like to do with these actually is I usually just keep one on. And as you notice these pegs over here, you can actually take the skirt over here just unclip it and this piece actually comes off and then pegs even lower as you can see Let me fix this just like that and this actually just slides 
and pegs into it like this. So once that's pegged in, you can actually just clip it back. And there you go. You have storage for him, just like that. Very nice. We're going to do it on the other side. And it's not really too much in a way when you put the, the ship on him. So we're going to just put this. I've been debating if I actually want to do a custom paint on him or a decal. I probably could. Because when I got this was a really long time ago before I really knew how to paint or do anything on my gun plus. So I've been debating if I ever want to redo it, which is not an issue. So there we go. Just always looks pretty cool. Next, we have the ship. So the ship for articulation, this could move, move on the side. These could look up. Just like that, definitely could rotate. And you have these, look like this. And these could also take LEDs as well. So then you could actually have them glowing, which is pretty cool. But sadly, he does not really come with any LEDs though. So you have a lot of options for LEDs, but he doesn't come with any. So how you attach the spaceship, you need these adapters to him. So we're gonna show you right now. So first off, we're gonna take these off just like this. You just unpeg, just like that. You're gonna to have to extend both sides and then you're going to put it down. And as you can see, there is a peg. So what we're gonna do in the back. So this piece slides down. Just like that, so let's do that. And try it and slide it down. There we go. And this plugs in just like this. And there you go, already halfway there. So now that's done. We could take these, take the adapters, peg it over here. Go with the other one, take this, peg it just over here. Oh, there we go. And now we take this, and there is a peg right here. So we just take it and peg it. But I think I have to do the angle on the right area. So let's just move this downwards like this. It rotated a little bit. And now we're going to try again. And there you go. Now that's all done. Let's try the other one. The other one's good. Oh, the whole backpack came off. Let's do here. So it is a bit fidgety, a bit on some parts. But some other parts is quite solid. So there you go. But also, right now, it has a lot of weight. So as you can clearly see, he is tumbling just a bit, and especially with that. So let's uh, put this back. Yeah, so one thing that I would like to do is usually, because that doesn't look good if I have to display him like this. So what I usually do is take the blaster and hold it as a stand. So we're going to do that. So we're going to set them all up. Okay. So we're going to take this, clip it. I forgot to put the arm first. Hold on. Yeah, very important to put the hand in first. So let's move the thumb. Let's put this in like this. Okay, and we're going to just, there we go, all nice and clip, and we can do some cool poses like this, and there you go, so you have his blade as a stand, plug it in just like that. And if you like, just lift this up or put it down. And then we're going to 
plug this in. Or it's most likely have to be on the other side. Yeah, let's do it on the other side instead. So take this. And there you go. So and that's him with all of his accessories. Now let's do some size comparison. Here he is with the hobby grade Reborn Gundam, which makes me really wish they did a master grade of them. And here he is with the 1100 scale Dino Miss Gundam. And finally, here he is with the Providence Gundam. And that's it for the Double O Riser review. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.